everybody, it's Holly and happy 4th of July. It's so wonderful to have you here and I'm excited to show you just a simple way to make a 3D star. Now, what would you use these for? You could use these on like the front of a project or a card. They look cute as just table decorations, but isn't that just a cute little way to make a dimensional star? Just so fun and these are just super easy. You could make a ton of them. I think these would be cute on like a homemade wreath or even a present. I mean, so many different things that you could use with these. And the thing is, is you can make these any size that you want um, as long as the piece of paper is squared. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way and I will show you. So we're gonna make three different ones today. Uh, this piece of paper is five and a half by five and a half. This one is seven by seven. And then this gold one is eight by eight. So I'm just gonna show you how, you know, as long as your paper is square, all of these work. So let's start out with the, the big one. Okay, whoa, you're getting a glare on that. That's crazy, sorry. Okay, so take your squared piece of paper. Once again, this one is eight by eight, and I will just show you that you can make these all different sizes. So take your paper and fold it in half. I'm going to get my bone folder to make sure I crease this good. Now I will tell you something that I have found is this is easier with thinner paper. If your paper is too thick, uh, the paper tends to kind of, let me show you a little bit. I don't know if you can see right here on the top, but it kind of like, Anyway, it doesn't fold as easy. So I'm just saying probably the thinner the paper, the better. So we've started out, we've got our first fold. Okay, one fold. Now take this corner and fold it up. We're just going to fold it right there so it is even. Give it a good crease. Now feel free to watch this a couple times if you, you know, need to redo it as you're making yours. So there's our first fold, okay? Open it up. Now we're gonna take this corner and bring it down to the bottom. Once again, bone fold or crease it. Okay, now when we open it up, you can see there is a square. Boom, boom. Do you see that? Okay. Now we're gonna take this corner and bring it over to the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and bring it right over here till it touches the middle and then crease that down. Boy, this gold foil is really fun paper. I think it's gonna look cute. Okay, so that is touching the corner. Now take this corner that was touching the middle corner and bring it over to this side. Okay, does that make sense? I'll just redo that. So this was touching the corner and we just folded it over, okay? Crease it good. Now we're gonna take this corner and we are going to just crease it up here at the top, okay? To where it makes a point and then follow it all the way down so it follows this line here, okay? Make a good crease there. So do you see I made a point right there? Okay, now you've got these two flaps right here. Now we're just going to fold it over. And I'll make this two other times so you, you, know, you can kind of get the gist of it. This gold paper, uh, because it has a shimmer, it might be a little bit hard for you to actually see. So just know we'll be making two more of these. So there's the base of your star. Do you see that? Now, right here at this point, we are going to cut diagonal. So all of this is gonna come off and let me show you. So I'll bring my scissors in. Okay, I'm gonna start right here at the corner and I'm just gonna cut a triangle shape off. Did you see that? Okay, this can just be thrown away. So that was just kind of a triangle edge. Now open up your paper and there is your star. Is that just amazing? 
Now, this is key to making your star pop. You actually want to go through and fold your star, kind of pinch it and fold it. Okay, pinch it and fold it. See how there's two pieces right there? I'm pinching it and I'm folding it, making the paper kind of work, work in, work its magic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just kind of pinching these and recreasing as I go. Pinch and then recrease. You see those two pieces? Just creasing it, reinforcing that, and crease. Once you've gone through the whole star, then it actually pops. Oh my goodness. Every time I make one, I get so excited. Now, I don't know if you can see, can you see the dimension on that? So laying down, that is so much fun. I just love it. Now let's try it with a different piece of paper. I'm wondering if that foil was a little bit glary. Let's try our piece of paper that is five and a half by five and a half. We're going to fold it in half, give it a good crease. Okay, now once again, we're going to take this corner and fold it up. Okay, crease it. Now we're going to take this corner and fold it down. and crease it, then open it back up. And can you see our X? So there's our X, one, two, okay? Open it back up. Now we're gonna take this corner and bring it over to the middle point. So this corner, bring it over to where it touches that middle and then crease it down, okay? Now we're gonna take this corner and bring it over here. This kind of reminds me the shape of a paper airplane right there. Okay, now we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna form a point right here. So form a point with your paper and just have it go right down along the edge there and then crease it. And do you see how that comes to a point right there? Then we're just gonna fold this in half. And then give it a good crease. And then there is our end shape. I think that is a little bit easier to see. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna diagonally cut it right here so all of this will come off. So right here on the very point there, I'm just going to cut out at an angle, a little triangle. Now let me show you. Open it up, ba-boom, there is our star. Now once again, don't forget this step or your star won't do the, kind of like the pop. So you just want to kind of fold your things in. You wanna kind of work the paper, fold it. Fold those two in. Basically, you're just reinforcing um, all of the creases. See those two little ones? Just reinforcing those. And if you can think that you're forming two of them, I think it helps so you know how to fold it. Okay, so there's our two little ones. Do that to here. There's our, it gets easier once you fold it. They just automatically fold in. Now watch, when you open it up, there is your 3D star. Such a fun little thing for the 4th of July. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it one more time just to make sure that you have this down. So this is a little bit thicker paper, so I'm gonna crease it really good as we go. Now this piece of paper, I think it was seven and a half. Yeah, it, it, nope, it's seven. So it's seven by seven. And once again, you can use any size as long as it's square. So you could make little baby ones, you could make a 12 by 12. I mean, whatever. So let's go ahead and take our square, fold it in half. Um, once again, I think the bone folder really helps, especially this paper is a little bit thicker because it's double-sided. Okay, we're gonna take this corner right here and bring it up, and crease it. So what are your plans for the 4th of July? Do you have fun things? 4th of July to me is barbecue. Barbecue, hamburgers, and hot dogs. 
I'm very, very excited because I love hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> okay, so that was folded up. Now we're gonna take this corner and fold it down. Okay, give it a good crease. Okay, do you see there is our X? Boom, boom, okay? Open that up. Now we're going to take this corner and bring it over to that middle point of our X. Just the middle point, have those touch, and then crease it. Okay, now take that middle point right there and fold it back this way. This is what I think looks like an airplane a little bit. Okay, fold that. So that's a point right there, okay? Now we're gonna fold this over so it makes another point. Make that point there. See the point that right here? Make that point and then follow it down so it just folds right along this edge. I hope I'm being clear enough. <laughs> okay, once again, crease it. This is kind of key, especially with thicker paper. Okay, so there's where we are right now. Now we're just going to fold it like this, okay? So fold it inside out, crease it really good. Ooh, I like this striped paper. Make sure that's a good point right there, okay? Now, here's our base piece. We're just going to cut it right here, okay? A little tiny triangle. So I'm gonna go from this point up, not straight, but at a diagonal. And that's really thick, that paper, boom. Okay, that's gone. Let's open it up. There's our star. You could actually use either side. Now, make sure you do the folding. So just kind of crease all of these things so you're making two of these. See those two? So there's one, two. I think just by playing with your paper, it helps it to kind of, you're kind of training your paper. Does that make sense? Folding it inside and outside. And there is our 3D star. So fun, what do you think? Let's bring in all the other stars. Made so many fun ones today. I love that foil. Even just basic red colored cardstock, this is actually just copy paper. So, you know, once you get it down, you could certainly practice with some copy paper and then go to more of your pattern paper. But look how cute those are. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope that maybe I've given you an idea for a fun either 4th of July decoration or something that you could add on a package, a present, a card, anything like that. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Celebrate, eat those hamburgers. <laughs> hey, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.